Okay, so today what I want to do is to carry on refining the recent refactor of the resource type. So what I want to do specifically is have a look at the state of a resource and how I can uh, compact that. Because if I check out like the resource implementation here, I can see that I have two types of flags. I have a Boolean atomic flag here, which its only purpose is to relay whether or not the resource is being loaded. Like it's the load data has been called and it's currently in the hands of some other something or other that's currently loading it and will resolve somewhat soon, hopefully in the future. So like basically there's a promise that something is looking at it and it will be loaded or resolved in either a loaded or failed state in the future. And then secondly, I have this, the state which is a single value, whether it's unloaded, if I check actually the uh, header, I can check exactly. There's, yeah, there's three states, either it's unloaded, loaded, or it's been failed to load. And of course, like in either of these three states, it can also be loading. I, it could be loaded and loading, failed and loading, uh, or unloaded and in the process of loading. And in order to retrieve that completed state, like whether it's you know the, the state of the resource plus whether or not it's being loaded, I need to hit two different uh, functions. This, which just you know checks the flag, true or false, and this, which returns a singular state. I want to merge that. So like, rather than have what is effectively probably um, two types, so this is what? probably eight bytes, and this is probably another eight bytes or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what the size of this thing is. It won't tell me off the bat. Oh, it's four bytes, four bytes plus one byte plus padding, four bytes and four bytes. I can probably get this. Oh, uh, yeah, I can probably get this down to just I can merge these into one variable, which can also uh, return more information at once so that I can uh, if I change it to a flag, a bit flag. I can return all of that state all at once together. And it'll make the processing when uh, checking, going through the loaders, seeing what the state is, it should also make that easier if it's like a bit flag. So that's what I want to do. Which means, first off, I need to change this. So uh, this will this is going to get split up into two things. There's going to be enum quo resource state bit flag bits something like that so quo resource state loading will zero by one bit sorry quo resource state uh failed bit Zero by two, so that's so that's the first bit. That's the second bit. Yeah. Resource state uh, loaded equals zero by four. And of course, if it doesn't have this bit or this bit, that means it's obviously unloaded. So I can so now I can merge both uh, information for both into one type and return it all at once. And that just means rather than checking individual flags, you can just like, uh, yeah, you can just check individual flag bits to determine the actual full state of the object. Type def uint 32t row resource state flags that. That's the total type. This is going to be changed into actually flag bits. Let me change that. Uh, for resource state. Bit to string. That's going to be changed to that. And down here, I need to, I'm going to be returning this. And this is going away. That means on this side, that is going away. This change to, this changes to state flags. This is changed to zero, so it's not loaded, not failed, not loaded. It's just it's just unloaded, which is zero. 
and that means I need to do a number of changes. So let's see. Easiest is probably down here when I'm going to be doing the unloading. Yeah. So this is going to change from this to what? It's okay. Oh, resource state flags. This is an atomic exchange, so I'm I have an expected. This is what it is right now. Equals p resource state. Uh, and I need to do. Uh, in this case, I need to remove the loaded flag, which means while. Um. Expected and loaded flag. While that not equals zero, that means I need to keep going through the loop and not not p resource state dot compare exchange weak because I am in a for loop, so I can do this expected. And so that's the expected. I'm expecting this to still be the same. If it's not the same, then it'll go through the loop again. And uh, the desired result is expected or no. And the not of loaded flag, loaded bit. So this, let's do that like that. Okay, that's. So that's, you know, so that's, that's the um, flag, but because I have this, it's the inverse of that. So it's everything except the, the, that one bit. So that and that, yeah, that's what's desired. And of course, it'll keep going through unless, until the expected and desired, the swap actually happens as expected. So that's one. No provided unknown function, thus no heavy work, but any, but need to remove the loaded flag. I need to do the same thing on here where I'm removing this stuff, right? If it's the iteration I'm expecting, remove it. This is going to do this because it's expecting it that the current state is what you're looking for. Right. Okay, next, uh, I need to go up to the loading here. So this is still kind of the same thing. I only want to make sure only one thread or one through line. Yeah, basically only one thread gets the loading flag and can proceeds to load. I don't want to have multiple threads trying to reload the same thing at the same time. That's a complexity that even I'm not willing to try to tackle at the moment. Uh, so. Hmm. A do while loop. So do. Okay, I need. Okay, first of all, I need to resource the flags. I need to get the current expected equals whatever p resource state is, and then I need to say, hey, I want. Um, oh, if expected. and loading so if this is already set not equal zero then i want to break out and then i need to say like whether or not i actually set it here so if not if i didn't set the loading flag so i need a boolean for this false. And I need to break out of this. Okay. Otherwise, I need to say, you know, set loading flag equals the P resource, the, the, the compare and swap. So the expected, and I'm expecting to do the expected or the load, the loading bit flag that I want to set.
dot repair exchange week. That's fine. And of course, in the failure case, in the case where the compare ex and exchange fails, expected this is a reference. So this will be updated with the current value of P resource state. So then I just go through the process again. Oh, it's, you know, if it, if I fail the set, then I get re-expected. And maybe if it was set by someone else, then I just break out and say, hey, I didn't actually load this. So you do this stuff. Um, oh, yeah, while loop. While not set loading flag. And if this does set, then that's true. This is true. This is so true and skips out to loading of the rest of the stuff. Okay, get loading. That goes away. This changes to the new type. Okay. Up here, we have getting the replacement. So if and uh, get state and if replaced and loaded, I don't even need this because if it's all if that flag is set as replaced, then obviously it's already loaded. The only case, yeah, the only case where replacement, um, this, the type is set to this is when the replacement is already available and loaded. Or, well, at least, yes. Yes. Uh, okay, R type replaced. So that happens first, and then we get to the loading stuff. Okay, so. Uh, this is more complicated, isn't it? I'm doing a replace. I need to clear a loading flag and a failed flag and set the loaded flag. So how does this, how is this going to work? It's, um, expected state equals whatever it is currently right now. P old resource state. Great. Do we have a while loop? Okay. So what do I do? Okay, I need a thing for the for the desired as well. Pro resource state flags desired to be separate because what's going to happen is desired going to equal. If I can type it, spell it correctly. Desired equals expected with the loaded flag set loaded. But desired is going to be and a bit and of whatever desired is, but without the two flags I don't want, which is the loading flag and the failed bit flag. But I, of course, like I want everything except that, so it becomes the not of that. So like this, this, but the inverse of that, so everything but that. So everything else, all the other, so those flags are cleared, everything else stays the same. That's the desired bit. And then what I go through is I go through until I set it as desired. So then this becomes not p old resource state, compare exchange weak, expected and desired. Okay. That kind of leaves kind of the thing, same thing going up here, I think. Hmm. Do I? Yeah, I'll just copy and paste and update it. So here we go. So this sets it to failed. Okay. I'm expecting the resource to be unloaded, right? Oh, no, I unload it if it's not here. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. But here I just want to add, I want to remove the loading flag. 
So equals what? P resource state. Desired equals the failed flag. Failed it. And I want to get rid of the loading bit. P resource. That's what we want to do here. What I want to do here then. So if it's already loaded and it failed to load the new thing, like the old thing is still going to be loaded. I'm just adding the failed bit and removing the loaded, the loading. I could probably use, uh, I, I mean, I could put them together, but I'm not going to defer readability. The compiler will probably fix, uh, smash that all together easily enough. And then here, uh, it's going to be the loaded loaded bit and I want to get rid of the loading bit and the failed bit. Can we just kind of like the loading flag. Something like that. That's even more readable for whoever, for when I come back to this and who knows when. The loading and uh, loading is no longer existing, so get rid of that. That's easily readable enough. You're just adding the one. What was the other thing here, right? Yeah. What was I doing here? The resource replace. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, I have these flag bits, right? Uh, I need to do this. Okay, the two string thing. That's what, in a separate? That's in a separate thing. I can, I'll get rid of this and I'll just put it in with the rest of the resource stuff in here. Up here, state, what is it? Flag a bit to string. Switch flag this loading failed loaded, so it's loading. Unknown. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. I need to get rid of the file that I got rid of, the source file. Okay, uh, let's hit the compiler so that at least it's going to go through into the next bit, which is going to be what I got stuff in the pool to deal with. So, okay, this is where things start, where I can start simplifying other bits of code. So as part of the pool resource unload, when it's unloading a specific type, it's going, you know, okay, is this type... Is this, uh, as I'm iterating through all the resources, is this the correct type I'm looking for? And is it loading or loaded? So now what I can do is instead of this, I can say, get the state, which will have both of those bits of information. If this and either of the two flags, uh, loading or loaded bit, uh, not equal zero. Then, yeah, so if it was loading or loaded together in one operation, then I can go through this. Yeah. Yeah. So next, I'm probably going to get into the loaders, which is where, of course, yeah. 
but I have a bunch of things. Okay, the image loader is doesn't have anything. That's a bit strange. Oh, because it's not doing any comparison. Material loader is doing comparisons because it has sub resources. Right. Let's go down to the uh, the initial stuff. So what's happening is let's go through the loading process as it would. Uh, normally go through. So it enters the loading, the loader, it goes down, it collects the types. Okay, make sure it can do it, otherwise it fails, otherwise it gets the data. Okay, here it is. It grabs a handle, it says if it's not the correct type, leave. Same thing here, and it gets down to here. Okay, so again, this is kind of a thing if uh, loaded if it's not loaded and not loading hmm uh for resource state flags state equals that then state and I don't know Okay, yeah. If state and the load, okay. Loading flag or the loaded flag. Equals zero, then try loading it again. That means it's neither loading nor loaded. It may be failed or it's unloaded. But if either of the if neither of these flags are set, that means it's you know, then I'll try to load it now. So same thing kind of ha is going to happen here for the other type. So that state equals this. Try that. Okay. So we go up to here. Uh, we have to replace. Okay, what's going on here? State. I go through. I get the worst state, which was the old type. Then I see if they can replace. If there are any replacements, I go through the process again. Let's see if I can try to re do this a little bit. Okay, so pro resource. Okay resource state flags overall sub resource state equals let's just say it, it starts with the loaded flag bit and if nothing if something that I require doesn't have the loaded flag bit it gets removed otherwise I can add whether something is being is being loading or it's failed and I work off of that primarily uh, replacement. Do I want to work with... So, like, and, yeah, I can also set, like, down here. If something is the incorrect type, I say this equal, uh, or equals the fail flag bit. Grab that, do this. That means I also need to, uh, process these in a different order. If overall resource state and equals... Sorry, and failed. I need I need the process failures first. So do that, then we get to like else if. So where I should have failures, they're down here instead. So do that. So I'm gonna say mm -hmm. Load or is the color type and off proceed. We load this resource. Uh, release handles, I guess. Remove references. Sub resources.
So we got this, sub resource failed to load or whatever. Load the data we did get. This will be fine. Uh, otherwise, we need to say if this is loaded, not equal zero, which of course this would be. Otherwise, else if else if uh, we have the overall sub resource state and loading bit. And I do something otherwise, I guess, standard abort. I'm not sure how to handle this. Handle other case properly. Not sure. Come back to it. What is this error up here? Uh, this is what? Oh, because, yeah, this thing is going away. Let's see if I can, uh, okay, how do I do this? So this is still true. Get rid of this. Placement. Let me, okay, auto. No, 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 no. Maybe auto test function equals blah, blah, blah. O resource resource and the O resource state flags overall resource state what I'll say so what I want to do is so I need the local resource state Whatever. I need to go through and I need to do that. I need to retrieve the state and do the processing for the resource replacement. So if I'm if I'm going to be replacing the resource in this, I need to ref make that a reference. Do the while. So resource state equals no resource. We get the state of the resource that we do have right now, and then we we keep doing this while uh, process resource replacement for resource. Mm -hmm. In that order, okay. Then I need to process the flags. So if and update the overall state. So uh, if resource state and failed bit. So if, if this resource is failed. Okay. Resources can be, both be failed and loaded at the same time. So failed is the big one. If failed is available is in there that means overall state will get the failed bit as well if if it's not loaded if it doesn't have the loaded bit it's not equal to zero So that's separate. This is going to be integrated. Um, this resource is not loaded. Therefore, move the loaded flag from the overall state. Uh, overall. Overall state and not uploaded. Bit. And equal. So that removes.
if it had it. Otherwise, what? It's not loaded. Do I want to try... Okay. Do I want to try loading it? No, because I would have already tried loading it earlier. But what if... What if it... What if it loaded and then was immediately unloaded by some other process? And I still want it. Otherwise, I'll get stuck in an infinite loop, won't I? So, okay, here's what I need to do. I need to go, like, if resource state and loading flag. So, if this... equals zero. So if the loading flag, loading bit flag is not set, then I want to try to load it again. Resource data, load data. Resource. And the overall state will be modified with the loading flag bit as well. I'll make sure it's there. Otherwise, what? I don't really think there's anything else, is there? Not really. A failed loaded and loading bits are all covered here. Oh no no, the floating bit, the the loading bit isn't covered yet. Otherwise, hmm, can I do else ifs? Hmm. Else if, else. Quest load. Uh, ba, 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 so we got that. Otherwise, overall state or equals resource state. So this will set. No, 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 no. The loading bit, then set overall state the loading bit. So I set it there, otherwise I also set it here. And I return with that. Okay, I think that's how this will work. Uh, so that kind of covers both these of both of these. Let me actually change this into a separate function. I'll kind of put it in the anonymous namespace here. I will say it is a void, because I don't actually... Do I need to return anything? No, the overall state is kind of the return thing. Oh, I can return the overall state, couldn't I? Okay, hold on. I can return that. But I still need to do star p resource, because that could be updated. Uh, process. Source. Load state. I guess I'll, I'll kind of say that initial. Something like that. So that becomes the resource. This becomes star P resource. Turning that. So return. Overall state. This becomes this. We only need to put that in. Okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this. Overall sub resource state equals process of this with and it dot data dot fragment shader. Overall, whatever it is now, and then the same thing here. Overall, sub resource equals process resource load state of image 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 
Okay, come on. There we go. Overall sub resource state. What I can do between these, do I need to do this? If has type. Then down here I check the correct type. Can I integrate that into this? Probably. I probably can. Because what I want to do is if Process resource. If overall sub resource state and failed, then I just want to kind of just go to that. So I don't go through like the expensive other stuff. I just skip it and go straight to this, which will go into the failed and do that. Yeah, okay, I think so. I think so. So if that, or if that, if I'm going to go through these anyways, I like I can do this really cheaply as well because if I already have the resource loaded into local cache or memory from this. So maybe easier and faster to just provide the type that I'm expecting in here. I'm not sure. It'll at least be easier to read like this. So I think that. Desired required type. Resource type. So I do this, I do a replacement resource, and I say, hey, if 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 Ba, 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 ba. Star P resource. Then I say, hey, is it type I desire or is it replaced or undefined or this? Failed bit and then just return. Or I could just return this straight up. The rest of it doesn't really matter, but maybe I just want to go through and do the whole thing. I'm not entirely sure which, if really, because if this is really isn't that expensive, it may just be cheaper just to keep going through. No, because of that. But if it already failed. not loaded hmm sorry no this needs to be zero this is not loaded if it failed it goes in here if it's not loaded remove that hmm I think so. Let me go. Ah, this is just. Ba, 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 ba. So I can kind of skip into that. Get the state. Go through replacements and keep getting the state until we've reached the end of the chain. And we have the state of that. So if the type is not the type we care about, not replaced and not undefined, and it doesn't have it in the subchain, say it's failed.
not failed. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, failed because it doesn't have the type, nor is it a type that can be changed into the type we want. If we have otherwise, if the resource, and then we just keep going through and process everything else. If the resource state has the failed bit, propagate that to the overall state that will be returned. If it's not loaded, this really is an else if, isn't it? If it's not loaded, if it failed, we just leave it at that. We're just going to skip on out of here. Else, it's not loaded. We remove the overall loaded flag. If it's not loading and not if it's not loaded and not loading, try to load it. And down here, down here, if the resource state was loading. If, else, if, this would be an else if. Propagate that through. And then we return. Okay. Then we get back into here. We say, blah, 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 blah. we did that, we did that. Then we go through processing. If it's a fail bit, if the fail bit is set for anything, stop loading this. Set it as, as a failed load. Uh, remove sub resources. We don't we don't longer care about the sub resources. We don't want the reference or use because you know one of them failed or something failed. We don't care. We're out of here. Otherwise, the loaded bit was set. It's successfully loaded. Try this. Otherwise, the loading bit was set, so we need to do this. Otherwise, I don't really have this as another case. There is no other case. This is the only three flags. It's loading. We add it to load again. Content still loading to be reprocessed later. Okay. So at this point, with that out of the way, what I need to do, and I can get rid of the worst resource state stuff. That's going away. Great. But what I got to do is I got to just kind of propagate those changes to, sorry, what? Load state? Oh, the test, right. Um, I just got to do the same thing for the other types, the other loaders now, and the tests. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Make. Right, so yeah, the material loader is... Yeah, I don't care about that, but... The vertex descriptor loader is going to have sub-resources that I also need to basically do the same thing. I need to do the changes for the flags. So, let me get that done. Now, that's going to be boring. Okay, so... That's all of those. So, uh, just a quick recap for the recording. Basically the same thing. Uh, I did make a modification. So, at the beginning of the process resource load state, if the resource is null, just return the overall state at the beginning. Made sure to do that. Vertex descriptor loader, that's basically the same thing. Uh, these are basically in all of them right now. I'll probably make this a common function, but in momentarily. Uh, same thing here, you go through the process load state, then you go through processing failed, then loaded, then loading. I also made sure to add, well, I thought I did anyways. I didn't. Okay. When I was doing the animated bone system and the renderer, I made sure to add Actually, let me just, just go for the complicated one. Just open the file. There we go. So, same thing. This function is in here, basically untouched. Uh, it does, yeah, it does check the resource type and all that stuff. It's modded into here. This happens to the same thing. This has been updated so that the overall load state is, you know, uh, not a um, reference, but it's returned. That's the same thing. This has been changed, so like as long as it's not failed, it'll keep trying. It'll keep 
coming back through the process uh, down here. Right. For these, I changed from the switch flags to this, and I've added an assert to make sure that in case in future when I add different types of bits, I currently do not, you know, obviously I don't support them. So if I start coming through this in a debug mode and I have new bit types that I don't handle here, this is going to fail as expected. Um, I should also add that to where I was up here. So material loader, <laughs> resource state, do that, do that. Made sure, oh, I did it, I added it here. Okay, did I do it for the this one? Nope, here we go, do that. I'm gonna rename that this, a bit smaller. Here, 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 here. Okay. And what else did I do down here? I did probably something. I just modified these. Yeah, just kind of rearranged the items a little bit. Otherwise, the same thing over and over and over again. And let's see how this works. Uh, I need to add C assert to this. And I'll change this to be C standard lib. Great. How does that work? That works terribly, right? No. It works first try? Okay, was there any warnings, issues based on reference use counts going on down here? So, okay, here's where it's creating, loading, creating, loading, creating, blah, blah, blah. Replacing, replacing undefined with defined resources. Destroying the undefines, it looks like, or the replaced ones. That's great. So this is the main loop here. And then I X the loop and unloading normally. So those all have counts of zero. Destroying counts of zero. No complaints. No complaints. Mm, destroying the importers. No complaints. Okay. Uh, am I building with address sanitizer or not? I am. So there's no address leaks, memory leaks, or issues like that related to that. Uh, the, another thing I did actually do modifications for was the IAM GUI uh, because of the new string. Um, since it's a bit flag, rather than returning just what it is, I need I return like a set. So like if I check IAM GUI for resource, which is just missing, I guess, here. I just go through each bit. Let me just. I go through each bit. So all through all, all the digits, each which in this case is indeed 32, right? Yeah, value equals 32. I go through all the bits. I make sure that they're all like that. So I actually, I got to make sure that this works, that the new reference resource information thing. Uh, let's do mesh material, I guess. So I have the state, which is loaded, and I have the data if it's loaded. So I don't actually need the colon. So that's one thing I can do. So I just want to kind of replace those with uh, data like that. Through all those locations, which are modified. So that's that. And of course, if it's loaded, if that and that, actually, I can modify that as well. So if this is non zero, then it'll actually show the data if it's loaded. Um, let me check if I have a resource that's not loaded. I think I'm loading like basically all of them. Whoops. Mm hmm material no not quite okay so what's going on here physics resource really
That was not supposed to be a physics resource. It says it's a material of some sort. Hold on. Where is it? The material. ID of 0, zero 003. Okay. What are you supposed to be? The material. This is supposed to be uh, material V1. So the same as this, material 2. Okay, let me check if material 2 works. Or mesh material. Mesh material works. Material 2 does not work. Okay. I'll leave that as a separate thing, so I just need to check. Yeah, let me write that down. Uh, material resource. I am GUI, so I need to go back and check that. But the other types are working correctly. Test mesh, data, create info, great. This is considered loaded. Uh, right. Great. So, I think I'll kind of leave it there because this is kind of like a little nice little self-contained thing. What I got to do is uh, I'm not building the tests. I got to update the tests for the new how this works. But I so offline, I'll update the tests. I'll fix them up. I'll probably fix whatever that I am GUI thing for the materials are. And the next time I'll come back with the next thing I want to do for resource, which is to look at the resource records. I want to split up the saved records from the session records so that I could reuse the session records in the production environment and only use the saved records in development environments. But that's next time. So until next time, cheers.